Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm waiting on parts to come back from um, from the machinist from getting it ported and board and all that good stuff. So can't really do much right now. Um, there is some more stuff I need to do in a shop on one of my own bikes that uh, I'm going to try getting a video on later this week, but uh, or this coming week actually. But I wanted to show you guys something. Um, I'm getting a lot of questions on two subjects. One, hey, I'm missing this little bolt that holds this inside my engine. Where can I find it? Or you know something like that. And I'm also getting where's the best 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 place to buy jets at um, so I'm going to show you guys these two things and I think it's going to help you out, help you guys out a lot uh, hop on partzilla.com for anything OEM or even if you need help with a schematic showing you how something goes go to partzilla click on Yamaha uh, of course ATB and I'm going to use my yellow special edition in this case the yellow banshee is the 350 SPV right here it's not this one this is the black one with the blue flames so you click on this one and the way you know this is a yellow one is you can go to emblem which is decals and you can actually see these are the SE decals well you can see that alright so um, if you've ever taken something apart and you're like crap how does this go back together um, let's look at your throttle housing there's a lot of crap in there so this shows you how everything goes in there. You have your your thumb lever, a washer, a seal, spring, collar, and so on. So that will kind of tell you. That will tell you exactly how it goes back together in case you got all that crap mixed up. If you lined it up and then you moved your rag and it, you flung it everywhere, well, this will fix you right up. You can also remember you can buy anything in here. Any number is available right over here. If you lose a spring and it's gone, well, really, who cares? You don't need it anyway. But if you lose something that you need, um, like 16, well, you can just come right over here and buy it. It's in stock, the dollar fifty-two, good to go. Um, then from there, like say you're missing uh, one of the bolts for your case or something like that, we'll go to crank case. This is it? No, it's clutch cover, crank case. All right. Say you need the bolts for the top of your crank case. Well, they're going to be both. They're going to be numbers 22, 23. It looks like 24. So all you do is come over here to the side, and you get 22, 23, and 24 right here. And it tells you how much you need of, of each. That's five, six, seven, eight. You do have eight on top. So 22, 23, and 24 are your, your all of your bolts for the top top half of the cases. You can also get 25, which is the washer, which is right here, and it tells you, boom, right there, you need 8. Click on 8, and boom, you got them. Everything that you need for your Banshee, for your engine, anything on that bike, you can get it here. <clears throat> get it here. Some of the stuff is really weird, like um, for your bumper or grab bar, it's going to be under guard right here. There it is. You can even buy, I mean, you can buy the bolts that hold it on. I hate the way this is. You can buy the, okay. Anyway, you can buy the bolts that hold it on. You can buy the darn rubber caps that go on the end. You can buy the actual bumper, the actual grab bar. I mean, literally, if it's on your bike, you can find it. Don't don't freak out. If you're new to this and you're like, man, I have no idea where to get this part. Don't worry, you can get it. Um, let's see. Anything else? Um, and you know what a good idea is? If you do this a lot, this is your new, your new hobby or whatever. This is what I do. I go to Walmart and I get a Shimano, one of those Shimano flat clear tackle boxes and I have what I call my OEM box and I'll come on Partzilla when I have time and I'll get all the crap that is easy to lose or is that needs to be replaced each time like C-clips and I'll just buy a few of each and when I'm building a motor or I go somewhere and I lose something, no worry, I have it. For instance, I would buy I would buy a few of these because these bolts that go in this, in this uh, yeah completely went blank there and this uh, detent arm um, it's a special bolt it's collared see there you can't use a regular bolt because if, if you do it's not gonna move it'll you know lock it in place so I'll get a few of those I probably get you know two or three of those um, for sure I would get some of the some of these uh, Eclipse for the uh, shift shaft snap rings this washer I would for sure get some of these pins because they can fall right out um, when you carry your shift drum or whatever and you don't know it, it falls on the ground it's gone for good so I'm not gonna go over every single thing but I mean just get on here and start looking through stuff side cover 
Okay, well, no, that's, uh, I was thinking that was scratch cover. We go to crankcase cover, and uh, you can buy pretty much anything. Um, you can get you spare O-rings for your dipstick, these little keepers here that hold the vent lines, dowel pins. I mean, anything that you think you're commonly going to need, you can just come on, on, come on in here and buy it. Uh, I buy a lot of these, number 35 the lock washer because I don't like reusing them they can end up breaking I buy those I keep I keep uh, the number 31 the c-clips I keep those in stock if I can these uh idler these uh snap rings for the idler gear on the kicker I you know stuff like that common sense stuff good idea to keep it on hand so that being said you can use partzilla for OEM parts on anything on your bike and you can also use it for a uh, schematic uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this because I did a video prior to this and after here my video and audio got all out of sync. So I'm going to jump from here to part Zilla and yes Dustin I'm still on the phone. I'm going to jump off here to part to uh, Rocky Mountain and I'm going to show you guys where to get your jets. Alright so here we are we're going to look at uh, RockyMountain.com for jets and the reason the reason I use my Rocky is because it's been cheapest for me over Jets R Us and um, uh, you, you get to accumulate Rocky cash too. The way it works is each time you buy something you end up getting a little bit of rocky cash and it adds up really quick the bigger the bigger orders you you know you pay for so if you order something that's 200 bucks you're probably going to get 12 or 13 bucks in rocky cash right away so it adds up and you need, you need to come on here and you got 80 bucks racked up and your total for what you're ordering is less than 80 bucks you, you get it for free so it's pretty cool but anyway for uh jets yeah let me show you how to find them you just come on here and you type in mccoonie <coughs> mccoonie uh jets and you hit search everything popped up already but just for the sake of argument um for your stock mccoonie carburetors you need these right here the 4042 series and all you do is you click on them and then uh you don't need to select this up here because you've already selected your series here so all you do is select your size pick what you want say you need 230s be sure you get one or two depending on your carburetor setup of course if it's a banshee in your stock setup you're gonna need two and you add that to cart um for the main jet for that, that is the main for the mccoonie pilot jet you need uh where is it at mccoonie pilot jet right here the m28-1001 series this fits uh, the uh, stock Makuni carburetors, and same deal. Don't worry about the the whole this up here. And then this is selected, but it, I don't know why it's even selected. I didn't do that. But anyway, we picked our jet right here. Even if this was showing a KTM 250 or whatever, we picked this so it would still show this jet. So, um, oops, how could happen? So yeah, anyway, you select your your size and the same thing if you need 27.5, select that and click the amount you need. I will say if you are doing something, uh, you're doing a new build, get a, get a wide range. Go ahead and get from 25s all the way up to a 30. And on your mains, if you're going to go with, you know, whatever your ballpark is, get at least three sizes above and below it. That way you're prepared. Whatever you don't have extra, you can always sell to someone or, you know, always keep on hand. It, it'll come out cheaper in the long run because if you buy these and then you pay 7 bucks for shipping and then, oh, crap, I need bigger jets. And you do it two or three times, you're going to pay 21 bucks for shipping and three orders when you could have just gotten free shipping and ordered what you needed the first time. So go ahead and do it that way. For uh, If you have Kian carburetors, same thing. Kian jets. Um... These are your mains right here, the 357s. Um, same thing on the way you select them. And then your pilot is this one here. These are these are similar, the N2474C and the 21. Um, be sure you get these right here. These are the ones you need. You need to get the N424. I believe the threads on these are a little smaller. It'll drop down in there, but it won't, it won't screw in. So anyway, um, yeah, these are the two you need for your key and cards right here. This is for PWK... Uh, PJs, all that, it'll work. So, I hope this guys this helps you out, guys. And uh, I'm kind of rushing through this last segment because um, I did this for this is my fourth time shooting or recording this little spot right here. 
for some reason, every time I get on this website, my camera like lags. I'll get five or ten seconds behind, and it looks like you're watching some freaking Japanese movie or something. But hopefully, it doesn't happen this time. Hopefully, this helps. You can find your jets now, and uh, all that good stuff. So, oh, and don't forget, you can also get OEM parts here, um, kind of like Partzilla. Same thing. You just click on this, go to Yamaha, and kind of navigate from there. But um, I would recommend getting everything from from Partzilla. Only because, I mean, I've been with them for years and they've always treated me well. So, you know, if you're going to do a lot of shopping, though, for OEM parts, like, you know, you you do this for a hobby or you do it for people, then I would go ahead and get all your OEM parts, whatever you possibly can, through Rocky because you're going to get that Rocky cash and it'll help you out. So, anyway, have a good day, guys. Be safe. Happy riding. God bless. We'll talk to you soon. We're going to do some shop work here pretty soon. Waiting on some parts to come back. Y'all be good.